So we want to be able to draw geometry. A lot of the geometry we draw is lines. And then we're going to need to move around the screen a little bit. And you might have seen this just a minute ago. Um, you saw a little hand appear on the screen to move the screen back and forth. So this is called panning. And uh, pan, P-A-N, is the command. I'm typing it in on the command line. And it makes that little hand appear. And when you hold down the left click and move the mouse, you can... It's like you're grabbing a piece of paper, right? You drew those lines on a piece of paper. It's electronic paper, but it's still paper. And now you are using your hand to move it back and forth and left and right. There's also a pan tool over here on the navigation bar. You can access it from here. If you have a mouse with a wheel, hold down the wheel. You'll see the little hand appear. And then same thing, move your mouse left and right and then you can pan that way. So one of the ways of navigating around the drawing is by panning. Another way to navigate around the drawing is by zooming. And now there is a zoom tool. There's actually several zoom tools in AutoCAD, different ways of zooming. Uh, maybe the easiest way though is to use the wheel on your mouse. So if I put the cursor right here on the corner of that object, and I roll the mouse away from me, roll the wheel away from me. Well, I'm going to zoom into that corner. And I get closer and closer and closer and closer. And if I roll the wheel toward me, I will pull out farther and farther and farther and farther. So this is how we zoom. If I move the cursor over to here and zoom in, well, now I'm zooming into over there. If I move the cursor to the bottom of my triangle and start zooming, well, now I'm zooming to the bottom of my triangle. So the cursor controls where you're zooming to. And I mention that because if you put the cursor out here in space and you start zooming, well, guess what? Now you're zooming into empty space. And you're probably going to lose everything on the screen. So now, not a big deal. If you lose everything, all you want to do is zoom the extents. That's one of the tools up here on the nav bar. That brings everything back into the main focus. And uh, another way of getting that is just double click the wheel. Click, click on the wheel. We'll zoom the extent so that you can see everything that you've drawn so far. So please try that. Please try panning around and zooming in and out and getting a handle on how the zoom works and how the pan works. They allow us to check things out and look with a high level of precision at the accuracy of what we've drawn. Now, if we don't like going up to the ribbon and clicking on the line tool, we've got some other options for starting the command. Uh, down in the command line here, anytime you type on your keyboard, the words will appear in the command line. So I just type the word line and I hit enter, and that also starts the line command. And if you remember the pictures of the old, old AutoCAD installation, where it was all DOS, where it was all typing, you see that part is still in the program, even though it's 40 years later almost. Uh, so you can always talk to AutoCAD by typing out the name of the command if you don't want to go up to the ribbon and start the commands that way. And uh, actually, if you can type with your left hand and click with your right hand, we can use both hands. That's probably the best and most efficient way to use AutoCAD. People that use AutoCAD for their for their job, for their occupation. Uh, this is how they work with the program. One hand on the keyboard, one hand on the mouse. So we could click on line, or we can type out the word line. Here's another thing we can do. We can just type L. L is the shortcut for line. So AutoCAD has a bunch of shortcuts for different tools because these are frequently used things and it's just much easier to start a command from wherever you are by typing L than it is to go up to the ribbon and go clicky clicky. Okay. Now, if you had to use the erase command, you're welcome to go up to the ribbon and click on erase and select the objects, one object at a time, and hit enter. Uh, but you could also type out the command. So I started typing. And notice where my cursor is. My cursor's out here in space. Uh, but when I type, the letters appear in the command line no matter where your cursor is.
So I typed erase, and I hit enter, and it says select your objects. So just like before, I'm able to select objects, click, 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 and enter, and those objects are erased. Now, if you had to come up with a one letter command to start the erase command, what letter would you pick? Yeah, you got that right. E. E is the shortcut key for erase. So same deal. We can go in, we can start the erase command by clicking E, and then select the objects, and then hit enter, and now those objects are erased.